I mentioned earlier that I wanted to update you guys a little bit about my health insurance. So that's what I am going to do. Hopefully I don't ramble on too long. So if you may have missed a video where I talked about how my health insurance was wrongfully canceled, I will link that video here and it would probably make more sense if you watched that first, but I will try to keep it short and bring you guys up to date. So about, um, four or five months ago my health insurance was wrongfully canceled and i only found out that it was canceled after i was calling to make my payment and it took a while the lady seemed confused and wasn't telling me what was going on she ended up transferring me and saying oh you haven't actually had health insurance for the last few months which was odd because i was paying my bill and i always called and made my payments over the phone and Everyone was taking my payments just as normal, never said my health insurance was canceled, and there was no reason for my health insurance to be canceled, so I wouldn't have thought it was like that anyways. So it basically ended up in a ton of calling around and hours and hours on the phone to finally figure it out that Providence canceled me saying that I had not paid a monthly payment, which was not true. I did, however, have two payments that were pretty late, but I was communicating with Providence and I let them know that those payments were going to be late. Um, that's an entire other story, but basically our, uh, our checking account ended up getting garnished and wiped everything out, including our savings account, and that has happened twice. Luckily, the second time we ended up going to court and fighting it because it was this random debt from 2010 but anyways sorry that's another story we ended up getting our money back but because of that happening we were very behind on bills i mean our savings was wiped out so i would call and let you know any bill that was going to be late i would call and let the that company know and Providence was very nice and they were totally okay with me paying the bill late. If they had ever once told me that my health insurance was going to be canceled, I would have just borrowed money from a family member. It wouldn't have been a big deal, but they were totally fine with me paying late. So basically they ended up canceling me a few months later saying that I had non-payment. So I've been fighting to get my health insurance back now for about four or five months. I haven't had health insurance. It is the law that I have health insurance and I cannot get health insurance. So it's been a very, very stressful situation. Uh, the first few times that I thought I was basically filing a case, um, nothing happened and I both times got letters in the mail saying, sorry, you were denied for your reinstatement of health insurance with no other explanation and no one had ever called to talk to me. So finally I got to talking to the correct person who actually helped me and told me that I needed to file an appeal. I thought this entire time that those cases that I was filing, they were called Hicks escalations, were actually an appeal, but they were not. It was just that the representative was explaining it to me in a really odd way. So come to uh, a few weeks ago, I finally got to file an appeal. I wrote up a letter you know, I included all of my information, all of my bank statements that showed payments were made. And we also sent a copy to the uh, Oregon State Insurance Commissioner. And I had wrote in my letter to the marketplace, which uh, my insurance is was, help, was through the marketplace, Obamacare, and Providence was the actual insurance that I had. So in the letter to the marketplace, we also mentioned that, you know, we sent a copy to the insurance commissioner. Now, two days after I faxed the letter to the actual state commissioner, they called me two days later. It was amazing. I had an hour long phone call with a man, a representative, and he seemed very, I guess, I don't know, he wanted to listen to my story, see what was happening, see if they could help me, and he has been kind of working on his side 
Um, he said as of right now, there's not too much that he can do since I did file an appeal. I basically have to wait up to 60, no, 90 days to find out what the outcome of the appeal will be. If for any reason the appeal does not go through, then I can continue or go back to getting help from the Oregon State Commissioner. But basically, they are just kind of there to help and um, I guess, yeah, help you get your insurance back or something like that. It's all a little confusing to me to be all completely honest. But basically, I got a letter in the mail two days ago now from the marketplace saying that my appeal was accepted. So meaning they are accepting the case, they are going to look into it further and that I should hear something, you know, within the next couple months, basically. So that's where we're at. Um, I do have a really good feeling, even though I feel like I've been just pulled every direction in fighting this health, this whole thing. Uh, I feel like at this point, I have a good case. Um, the Oregon State Commissioner said that it sounds like I should really have no issues getting my insurance back. He thinks it's kind of odd that um, it has taken this long, but he did help me see why possibly this happened. And he thinks what happened was that my account was put into a grace period and that I was not correctly told that I was in a grace period because I actually got a letter at one point saying that my account could go into a grace period if my account was not brought up to date by some date and my account was brought up to date by then and I called to make sure because I was really nervous when I got that letter saying, hey, you could be in a grace period. I didn't know what a grace period was. I was freaked out. The lady assured me my account was not in a grace period. So. The Oregon State Commissioner thinks that my account actually was in a grace period so that when I paid that second late payment, for some reason they canceled my insurance because you're not allowed to pay a late payment while you're in a grace period. So at least that kind of made sense to me. That seems like that would be the best reason as to why maybe this happened to me. So it was kind of nice to have maybe like an answer or just some some type of light at the end of the tunnel, I guess. So that was a long story, guys, I know, but I just wanted to update you in case anyone is going through something like this. It is crazy to me that I have to fight this much to get my health insurance back. And I was even thinking that, you know, even if I had intentionally like paid a payment super late or skipped a month or something, which obviously is not the case, I'm just using this as an example, I cannot believe that you could not get a second chance to have your insurance back. That is so weird to me, and I don't know why I've thought of that, but I was just like, what the actual heck? I mean, it's a law to get to have health insurance, and it's so crazy hard for me to get my health insurance back. The reason I had my health insurance through the marketplace was because I found an affordable plan. So I've searched for other private plans, but I honestly cannot find any insurance that would be close to that, even if I had to pay more, because at this point, I know it's just important to have health insurance, but I can't find any plans. And I also tried to just re-sign up for a new plan through the marketplace, but they said that they, can, they don't have um, enrollment right now and that they cannot like allow me to have a special enrollment, which I was also told might be the best route for me right now was to ask for special enrollment, but apparently they can't offer that to me. And it's so weird because I do have a heart condition. I do take heart medication. It is important for me to have health insurance. I am actually due for like a cardio checkup and it's important that I get those checkups. But because I don't have health insurance, I basically have to kind of wait. Otherwise, I'm going to be having a huge fat bill. So, of course, I would go to the emergency room, you know, if I really need it. And I did go to the emergency room like two months ago because I thought I had strep throat. And now I have like a $600 bill that I'm making payments on. So, there you go, guys. That's it. I'm like, my voice is going away because I've been talking so much. So, yeah, if you made it to the end, thanks for listening. Um, I've 
been really stressed and I just want this to be over with. I just want my health insurance. I have learned my lesson to never pay a late payment for my health insurance again, but that was kind of like out of my control, honestly. But there you go. So thanks for listening, guys. And Obamacare. Yeah, woo. Okay, well, I'll talk to you later. Bye.